Welcome back everyone. This is the fifth and final video for our contour line drawing project. Uh, you can see I finished going back with Sharpie onto my drawing. I also played around with using the thick Sharpie versus the thin Sharpie, so different things kind of pop out. It's nice in the hair too, if you have lots of hair on your person, to have some areas that are more detailed, some that are less. And I also used some pattern, which is kind of a nice way to create some more detail in it. Uh, so feel free to kind of be as experimental with that as you'd like. The next step is figuring out what you're going to use to color in your coloring book page and to start thinking about color schemes. So in this case, you might notice off to the side here, I spent some time starting to kind of figure out my colors. I'm mostly going to use colored pencil for this, but I also have a few colored Sharpies that I want to use. So really, it's up to you what you have. Um, you could use crayons, you can use colored pencils. If you have markers at home, you're more than welcome to use those as well. Um, my last one that I completed, I did that in all Sharpie, which I think looks really nice and clean, uh, but I also think it will be really nice to have a little bit more contrast and a few more colors that you get with those colored pencils. So I kind of started to figure out what I like for colors, and I'm going to use mostly like golds and yellows with a little bit of green in the skin, and then the hair is going to be more green with still some yellows and a few blues. So I've kind of come up with what my color schemes are here. Uh, my cat Greg is with us, so we'll see if he gets in the shot. And now I can just start with the coloring. Craftsmanship is so important here. You really want to be mindful of the decisions you make on the page. So for instance, the gold that I started here... Uh, if I just scribble really quickly, I might go outside of my lines. And the whole point of a coloring book is to keep it really crisp inside. Now I have choices if I'm using colored pencil where I can have it be lighter in some areas. And then let's say as it goes down the nose, I can play with values similar to what we did in the landscape uh, drawing. So kind of using the depth of the color as I push a little more and then have it fade as it goes up the nose. So that is an option for you, or you can keep it really consistent and really, really crisp by pressing really hard the whole way through. The big trick with this in the craftsmanship is continuing to sharpen your pencils, um, or if you are using Sharpies or other markers, try to use the tip and I kind of color on the side just to try and keep things really crisp. Um, other than that, it's just about coloring and really you, can, you can't go wrong uh, I like to use darker colors where there are shadows. So this size of, side of the nose, I'm going to automatically go in with a darker color. Uh, and that will help to build uh, some kinds of shade. Uh, and then if you notice my highlight, I did in this lighter yellow. So it really pops. But other than that, it's really up to you how you approach this. Uh, I'm excited to see the colors and your next step.